All right, guys, what I have here is a Mosler lock. And what this video is going to cover, how to completely disassemble a lock. Take every wheel out of the lock and all the flies and spacers. And I'll show you how to reassemble every part in case you ever need to completely disassemble a lock. Also, what makes this part, this lock, this, this video special is this is a hand change lock. So while we're disassembling it, I'm going to show you how to do a hand change lock. Right now, the lock is set to just 50. So we're just going to turn it to the left all the way to 50. Turn it back to the right and it locks, unlocks right there. I actually don't have any of the screws in this back cover. Here, as you notice that there is no spot for a change key because I did mention it was a hand change lock. You see all the numbers on the wheels? Every number is a different part of the combination. There's three wheels, so there's gonna be three combinations. So the very first part what we're gonna do is in order to take the wheels apart, you have a C-clamp on this lock. Uh, most locks have like a coiled spring that isn't springy, it's just flat. And then you have to pick up part of the coil and slowly uh, work your way around until it pops off that, that center stem. But this one is, is going to be a lot easier because it is designed to be taken apart all the time. Another, another important thing I want to point out about this lock is that the wheel pack is, is different than most. The wheels actually come off with the back cover. So what happens is this is your fence here. And when all these cuts in the wheels line up together and they line up with this part of the fence, then this fence will pull in and pull the bolt in. So as we spin this around, we notice the hook on the end of that fence catches that center hub, that center wheel, and it pulls that bulwark in. It actually won't go in right now. It's because the, re because the back cover is off. This little dimple here pushes in on this piece here. It's a relocker in case you ever attack the lock and try to take the back cover off. It keeps the lock from, going in, from ever functioning. It actually locks the lock. But, so that's how the lock works real quick. We'll go over taking the wheels apart. Now, uh, most wheels are brass. Uh, brass is a self-lubricating metal. You should never, ever clean or put WD-40 or anything like that on, on a lock. You never want to put any type of grease anything on a lock. Um, I usually, only time I ever have to take them apart, of course if it's a hand change you have to do it every time you change the combination. But normally, anytime you ever have to take apart a lock and clean it, it's because somebody come in and added a bunch of grease to it. Like I said, brass is a self-lubricating metal. Um, the Brass should, uh, you should never have to lubricate the lock. What happens is you, is when you run, brass is real soft. So as you turn the combination and run the combination, what happens is uh, the brass wears down itself and creates this fine dust. That dust lubricates the lock. Most of these flies usually come out. I usually do this with. No, this one's captured, it looks like. Either that or it's just not centered on there right. I usually have a pair of needle nose pliers when I do this. But obviously, I'm just doing it in my living room right now. So I don't have any of this stuff. What I normally do is a lot of times, as you pull these locks apart, there will be little flies and spacers and stuff like that stuck to the back. So as I pull them off, I always rub my finger across them. And if there's a spacer on there, I, I, I pull that 
spacer off. Now it's very important that you keep all your stuff on this lock and any lock you disassemble in order because you want it to go back the exact same way it came off. Uh, usually at this point, you can actually grab a towel. I usually wipe everything down. Because any problems that you would have with the lock is, the lock is usually just dirty. Usually is the majority of the issues. Um, a lot of people will spray WD-40 and put grease on there and none of that's necessary. A uh, combination lock works much smoother when it's just kept clean. So like I said, it's important to keep everything in the right order. So what I'm going to do is we're going to change the combination to 20, 75, 20. So we have each wheel has its own set of numbers on it. And on the center hub, there's a line. And what you do is you just pop the wheel part, turn it to your 20, and then just pop it right back together. This lock's actually pretty clean. I've probably taken it apart before and cleaned it. So I'm not going to worry about cleaning it anymore. Again, you have each lock, each wheel, has a set of numbers on it. Center hub has your line. Pop it apart. Turn this one to 75. Reassemble it. I noticed when I took this one apart, it actually came apart just by its own weight. And we're going to do 20, 75, 20. Well, I've got this, this wheel right here apart. I wanted to talk about it. Mosler, for a while, made their wheels out of plastic. I thought when I first started off, I thought Mosler was just real cheap for making their wheels out of plastic. Most locks components are made out of brass that's why they're self-lubricating metal and I was informed that when they started making these is that it was right after x-ray technology came out and they were afraid and, and you could take an x-ray machine and hold it up to the front of the vault and you could see all your wheels you could see the fence through there well, Moser was really concerned that people would use an x-ray to be able to see where all the gates were and they could actually watch as they dialed the lock, uh, figuring out where all the gates are and lined them all up with the fence. So they started making their locks out of plastic. So it was much harder to fine tune the x-ray machine so you could see each wheel. And then also what they did is they created all these notches on the back side of it. Well, if you notice, that's a gate right there. That's what you want to line up with the fence. But if you're looking, if you're taking an X-ray machine and you're pointing it through a, a sheet of steel and you're trying to zoom it in on a piece of plastic, the fact that all those little slots in there there's a good picture of it. 
it gives you several, several false gates. So if you're looking through a piece of steel and you see these two lines, you're like, oh, look, it's all lined up. But then you have three more wheels stacked on top of each other and you're seeing all those holes and all those gates on every wheel and it makes it almost impossible even with an x-ray machine to be able to decipher the combination so going back to our wheel here we're going to set it to 20 should give us a combination of 20 75 20 Then we're going to put our clip back on to put these on and off with. I don't have all my tools with me, so I think right there that works just fine. So, dial, back cover goes back on. All right, <clears throat> so the combination is 20, 75, 20. So you run the combination, four, three, two. There's 20. Once, twice, and third. Then we're gonna go back to the once, and then we're gonna stop on it twice. And I think we can see the numbers and the bolt here. So we turn it back, retracts the bolt. So, I hope you found this video interesting. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.